Welcome back to JJ Mix Rides with Waymo. Here we go. We are still in San Francisco, bouncing around here. I still have a very special, amazing guy, Kevin Jen, uh, Kevin Chen, excuse me, in the back here. Uh, he's a chief navigator because I have no idea what the heck <laughs> I'm doing. So that is super appreciated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to, so we are going to pass through like, do you want to try to do a multi-point turn? Sure. I've yeah. never, uh, Woo. Oh, we got yelled at. Sad. <laughs> oh, the kids down. giving us a thumb down. <laughs> hey, we yielded. Give us a break. <laughs> uh, like father, like son, I guess. Um, <laughs> Give him a thumbs down when we go past. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, I don't know. Can't, catch can't up be them. mean to kids. No. Um, I just feel like there's all these... Um, okay, yeah, there's no... Some of the dead ends got banned. Oh, yeah. But I feel like if some of these angry cyclists could actually ride in these and see how the car sees the world and interacts with people, it would know that they're very cautious. Yeah, totally. It's That's what yeah. drives me crazy with all these people complaining is that they just don't like bother to you know yeah, I, don't, I don't know it's, they never run over anybody right so I'm like come on oh no people are <laughs> like people are absolutely like being um, being critical before they're curious or whatever the saying yeah. is right um, yeah and I, right. I can see it from their point of view but I'm still like yeah the other thing is I think um I think there's also a component of just like people being opposed to anything new. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, let's go to the REI parking lot, which is near the pin that you had. Okay. Um, sure. There's like this really narrow alley. I, I've never been in a Waymo, but I know as a human driver, it's pretty tough for in me. In that, in that little section there. Yeah. Cool, going under a tunnel. Not, no, just bridge really. Yeah. yeah. This is the highway above us. Oh, yeah. And then um, on this street, we're going to pass a Costco on the left. That's the old crew's office is, is like in that area oh, okay. um, and the old garage. And then also on the right side from the Costco around the corner, there's like um, the Zooks, one of the Zooks garages. Ooh. Yeah. So you you're, might see uh... there's there's like a chance that we'll see like some turn lane or something that just has like two or three Zooks cars in a row or something yeah, like that. I've never seen one of their, uh, neither one of those or Cruise Origin in person before, so. Yeah. Uh, it would be quite cool. Um, it was, I'll have to find the pictures. It was, um, it was pretty wild. I was just walking home one day um, and I'm, I'm close to one of the cruise garages. There's just like a cruise origin on a flatbed. Oh. Just like sitting, you know, no cover, nothing. Just like sitting out there on, on the public street. So of course <laughs> I'm like getting up close and taking yeah. pictures and, um, like looking at, there's like a lot of exposed wiring underneath for some reason. Oh. And like, I'm not an automotive engineer. I don't know if that's normal or not. <laughs> um, or if it's just like a prototype thing, but yeah, after that, I, after that one time, I never saw them park it outside. <laughs> yeah, um, in the deep of uh, Waymo, they have some weird exposed wiring underneath body panels with the eye paste. That might just be a base vehicle thing, honestly, because it's an EV, but I don't know. Yeah, it is, it is funny. The I was One time I was going up I-10 <laughs> um, in, in Phoenix, and I saw I was pulling up right next to a Waymo 18-wheeler. Uh, so there's I was, your, ooh, your Zooks, Zooks test, yeah. test car. All right. Oh, sorry, the 18-wheeler. Yeah, no, but, yeah. yeah, anyway, they're, they're basically gone now, but they had, the, the one I saw had, like, a missing body panel underneath the left LiDAR stock <laughs> thing, and you could see all the wires coming up into it. I think that was when I was going to see Top Gun Maverick when it came out. Um, but, yeah, That's so that was, it was about then-ish, but... And you're sitting there wondering, yeah. did they leave the garage like that, or did that come <laughs> off at some point? Yeah, I'm like, I hope not. That's, uh, that'd be silly. Oh, are we gonna pull? Oh, yes. We're gonna pull up right next to it. <laughs> cool. Zooks. Maybe contact. 
content. Yeah. By the way, I don't want to cannibalize your uh, your Waymo content either. If that's not the right word, but anyway, uh, if you want to if you want to shoot videos and I am with you or whatever, oh, that's I don't, cool I don't too. Care. I um, mean, you you but, have like five hours in SF. Yeah. So like, let's just you know. Yeah. We gotta cram as much onto Make your SD card as, as we can. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. So yeah, if we were to turn. Wait, are we? Oh, we are going to turn. So yeah. this, the white building on the left is the old crew's office. I think it's my impression, just like walking by, it's just operations staff in the garage now. Yeah. And then the building that's directly behind us now uh, is a Zook's garage, but the entrance is on the other side. Oh, okay. And that's a crew's roadside assistance. Bolt. Chevy Bolt. Right yeah. there. White Bolt uh, commercial plates. Commercial plates. Do they have... Wow. That was some that's shaking weird. around. Do they have... Um, like lights in them or something like the Waymo ones or uh, I don't know I've never seen them yeah but I've also I, I've never seen the lights on but I've also only seen them uh, do one rescue okay. so I, I don't know if they just have it and don't use it yeah yeah um. yeah when you see the flashing amber lights in the behind you that's when you know it's all you know gone wrong <laughs> Has that happened to you recently? Not recently, no. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, a couple of times, uh, Pacifica age. Um, but I have seen a, an I-Pace being rescued by the airport. Mm, uh, got it. Oh, but, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remembered that one. Uh, yeah. That I kind of had a, a freak out in the back seat there. That was that was a funny reaction. Uh, but, yeah. I was like, what? Really? That's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. Um, but yeah, honestly, the I-Paces have been such a huge upgrade. Really, they're... Yeah, I, I forgot. Have you been... Did you catch Pacificas beforehand? Or no, I haven't. They, they went away. Yeah, yeah the, you're starting off with luxury. Then, <laughs> this is... Yeah, Pacificas were uh, a fun time. I remember time. <laughs> watching, watching your video, and there's, like, the plexiglass, right? And mm -hmm. everything in the car is just rattling all the time. All the time. Um, yeah. Oh. Almost there. Right, Don't get, forget your belongings. Get ready to delete. As soon as we turn in the parking lot with the button. Nice. Yeah, I, I try to get three point turns in Phoenix, but they the car figures out what I'm doing and navigates away at the last second. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, woo! Going around the truck in an interesting fashion here. Slowed down to about 13. Oh, uh, for Luke Starkenberg, the range of this car is 106 miles. Okay, yes. Uh, Two people crossing. Always thinking of you, okay. Luke. Three people. So there's some kind of activity on the dome here. Can't really see what it is. It's some kind of loading bar. Oh, oh I my. think that's the one that tells the Goodness. pedestrian that um, it's to good to go cross. Ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Trip updated. Uh, oh, you weren't kidding. This is serious. <laughs> well, okay, that's a little bit bigger than I thought. I was yeah. like, what is that? Golden Gate Avenue. Um, Oh, I was yeah. hoping there would be a car com coming the other way, but maybe it's a one-way. Actually, oh. it's not posted as a one-way. I think so. so, right? But it's really oh. thin. It's like, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta play chicken with some people. Um, oh, it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit overcautious here. Lots of signaling. Evasive action there. Yeah, the thing with the I pace versus the Pacifica is, is the the braking. Even when it's mm -hmm. even uh, when it's sharp, it still never is as whiplashy as the Pacificas were. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with this vehicle specifically or just improved driving, but uh, Pacificas you would hear like a zoom. Like mm -hmm. of the braking system, and then it was bam. You had, yeah, so you had like half a second to tense up. <laughs> yeah. Which is, um, I think one of those was, uh, hey, um, <laughs> one of those is when I was going on my rain trip. It was the video with the uh, remote assistance takeover. There was a big brake slam for like no reason. 
probably, probably detected something on the rain. Yeah, yeah. I would think something like that. Um, um, okay, so I think I'll just go directly to Fisherman's Wharf yeah. with, with your your intermediate. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna move this intermediate destination. A bit Playing too. chicken with people coming off the just freeway. Like, Woo. <laughs> oh, someone's filming us. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. We film you back. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we can get it to drive us past the painted ladies. Oh, cool. That's, that, that was near your original uh, pin. Yeah, my original pins are totally made up, so <laughs> don't, don't read into that too, too much. But, uh, but uh, that's... I mean, uh, all I, literally the only thing I know about the Painted Ladies is that they have a special icon on Google Maps, so there must be something, you know, oh. fun about it. It's like, um, I don't think... Yeah, think it's tinted windows. Tint. Yeah. You can roll it down. That's okay. Right. Stop If you want to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice timing, too. Destination change. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly 12. We'll see. I mean, these, it's like... The ETA is like 12.02, but in Waymo minutes, right? Yeah, so. Waymo minutes in Phoenix is like, it says 12.02, expect 12.12, pretty much. Um, oh, wow. They're, they're really into They're really into it, yeah. <laughs> People recording all over. It's like, you guys know this is uh, actually, yeah, in Phoenix, you can go say, hey, download the app. But with the waitlist here, it's like, yeah. this is more of a special thing. I only have access for with my three-day code. Oh, um, only three days? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because oh. I got I got a code like a month ago, and I've been holding on to it. Huh. Uh, so I put it in on Thursday so I could do some open source intelligence, which I <laughs> proceeded not to do any of. Got it. Because uh, I was too busy <laughs> doing other stuff. Um, and also, the map is only so helpful, you know. So you just have to know the area, uh, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Kind of bumping left in the lane for a bus there. I do, yeah, it's the visual, it's hard, sometimes it's hard to notice, but in the visual, you'll see the car just like scoop to the edge of the lane a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's really subtle. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't just give you permanent SF access. Like, you're not. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like I, you're, you're, you can't, you can't cause like a demand issue by hogging cars. If no. You're, Mostly in Phoenix. I really, or, yeah. Or Idaho. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, it's gonna be Idaho most of the time now. Yeah. Uh, while I go f finally finish my computer engineering degree. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, I, do, I, I mean, I, I guess I do like that Cruise kind of kind of does that. I mean, at least that's my theory, is that they, they give you access to places they know you probably won't go. Uh, and the people that actually live there don't get it. <laughs> All that, I'm just salty, I, anyway. <laughs> it's a pretty YOLO. Yeah, I think yeah. Cruise is just like YOLO, let a bunch of people in. Yeah. You know. I mean, I do finally have Phoenix access now, so I, I mean, I feel bad for being mad at them, but. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, in my uh, last ditch attempt to get access, yeah. I DM'd them on Twitter. Uh, I was like, oh, what did they say? Yeah. I said, Kevin, thanks for reaching out. We're glad you're so excited to experience a cruise during the daytime. At this time, we have limited access, but we're hoping to expand soon. Ah. I'm like, ah, thanks. Yeah. They just started completely ignoring my Twitter DMs outright. Oh, so really? So I'm, I, I got nothing. Mm. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it's just that JJ guy again. Yeah. You know. Um, oh, this is... Is there some kind of detour here? Yeah, what, what do you think? Well, let me check uh, Google Maps. Oh, yeah. Something or other. Maybe it only affects the other side of the street? Could be. Yeah, it looks like... Huh, I was just here like two weeks ago and it didn't yeah. have that closure but it is uh, quite novel to be completely lost somewhere where whereas in Phoenix you can pretty much figure out where you are just from context I mean I'm sure you could with here too but yeah this being all new to me it's like oh so much to see you know so much like wow this is great uh, uh, that is cool art too yeah this is a good chance with a computer engineering degree that 
you'll be here at some point. At some right? point. <laughs> yeah. Was it, you know, fingers crossed, right? I'll try and get into the Waymo summer internships as, as soon as my internship time oh, uh, happens. But, uh, um. That would be super cool. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that would be super cool. At the same time, I would feel really bad because uh, you probably won't be able to post as much. Mm, yeah, that's why I ignore the trusted tester program because mm. uh, I don't want a blanket NDA. Yeah. Because um, I'm like, I, I have to share, you know, like this is amazing. You know? um, so uh, I really love the start and stop on hills because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is tricky for a human, for, at least for me. I mean, for some people, you, I guess you can, once you practice, it's probably fine, but just to like, there's not even a little bit of rollback on that. Yeah. Um, it's like switching brake to it. Yeah, it's like calculated yeah. exactly how much throttle it needs mm -hmm. to. Oh, changing lanes, lots of cones, lots of. Scooter in the street. Yeah. So the scooter is marked as, an, as a pedestrian rather than a cyclist. Huh, that's uh, interesting. Now that's gotta be, he's swaying all over the place, so we're giving him a nice bit of space, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I got things have kind of calmed down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, by the time we get to the Painted Ladies, it should be a pretty uh, yeah, good yield. Yeah, good yield to cyclists. It should be pretty quiet, and then it'll heat up. Uh, I, I want to. I'm gonna do my destination shenanigans again. Yeah. Because like right now, if you. Yeah. Um, it's not actually going down Van Ness. Oh. Okay. It's going down like the the um, neighborhood street uh, that runs parallel. So I'm gonna do my destination shenanigans, and that should be. Um, that's like a, a high traffic like north south route in the city. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, in, in Phoenix it'll it'll do that too. There's Central Avenue in downtown mm -hmm. Phoenix, which in like. We we should try that, and Waymo will always go around it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like right. It's like I can't even really trick it because there's whole sections of downtown Phoenix that are just not right. off limits. Is it still um, like super under construction? Um yeah, pretty much. Um but yeah, they always do a good job avoiding it. So like yesterday there was some some stuff with uh, construction like making changing the lanes so that you would have to cross over to the other side of the road and I wanted to see like the reaction to that but it was it was like opposite our lane mm -hmm. so we didn't we didn't get it but I, I'm like I don't think that was a coincidence because um, like one time way back I was I like planned a trip and I could see there was this normal route and then suddenly there was a random turn mm -hmm. for some reason and I was like what is that so we get there and there's just a blockade in the middle of the road so I'm like, okay, so he obviously he knew it was there, and that's you know marked as something. Um, yeah, I really, but, I really hope that's automated. Yeah. I would feel terrible for <laughs> uh, the person who uh, who has to update that manually. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's really fun seeing uh, yeah, seeing stuff disappear and reappear. And I'm really happy. Um, the first minute of my first Waymo video ever was a three point turn in a neighborhood in the southeast corner of the service area. Mm -hmm. And after a while, I got it stuck too many times in a three-point turn. <laughs> and then they they banned it. Um, and I, I, there was a point where I actually noticed them banning it uh, while I was in the car because you could see every disengagement zone placed exactly on the... And I just had like a little giggle fit, like, that was my fault! Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they, they brought them back now. And I, I threw an eye pace at it last night and it handled with a little bit of remote support. But, uh, yeah, I was wondering, is that siren gonna, <laughs> gonna come up on us? But... Yeah, I couldn't even tell which way it was coming from. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Crosswalk. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I wonder what that was for. Submerging oh. there into... Is this two lanes still? Oh, yeah. Two lanes, I yeah. It, yeah, okay. Yeah, yesterday there was a there was a point where all the lane lines disappeared for a few hundred feet. It, it pretty much was like, oh, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I think they draw them in the HD map. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting at the point where, because um, mapping is a huge cost for these companies, mm. um, and especially the upkeep, right? Like you were talking with the construction, right? We, we're, you know, hopefully that's automated, but probably yeah. some part of it is not. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting at the point where they try to cut costs and get rid of the map, how they're gonna deal with these things and still provide like the same level of reliability and comfort and all that. Yeah, so one thing, um, ooh, nice right lane change there. This this uh, whole weekend series is sponsored by Array Labs. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are they are paying for my, my transportation. I read up on on their company. It's a whole big thing. I'll I'll probably link it in the description if I can if I can find it again. Uh, but the, it's this huge like article on what they actually do, and essentially they are trying to HD map the entire world oh, wow. using a, a cluster of high res like radar satellites in a circle or something, something crazy cool like that. I'm like, does that work? So oh my HD gosh! HD mapping from even, space. Yeah, well, it's like from yeah, just like a radar point cloud with a crazy resolution. Is what I've heard. Uh -huh. But if they can, and they said that their first customers are probably AV developers. So I'm like, if they can pull that off, that's gonna be like, you know, I don't know exactly how much AV people can uh, use that versus like localized stuff as well. But I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's a. Uh, but yeah, it's it's exciting. And I, either way, I'm gonna keep an eye on them because uh, <laughs> it seems like pretty cool tech. Um, It'd be cool, like especially in the suburbs where you probably have less density of um, cars. Oh wow, that was a yeah. There was a, <laughs> the bus pulling over, a car goes in the middle of the lane, and we stay to the right and like no hesitation. It's pretty pretty spicy altogether. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just feel like it would be interesting, especially in the suburbs. You have probably less density of cars in your service, so you can't update the map as often from. Mm. Um, from from like just your cars driving around. Yeah. If someone could solve like HD mapping from satellite images or yeah. something like that, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe the cost doesn't work out, but <laughs> um, space is also pretty expensive. Quite yeah. Well, it has been fun to see. Yeah, cost of launches coming down over, over the years as well, but it's, it's still expensive. <laughs> it will be for a long time. Uh, yeah. Right up the hill here. Yeah. Uh, Almost there. Cool. Don't forget your belongings. I do wonder at what point is the the hill uh, too much of a problem? Like how steep does it have mm. to be before the sensors are kind of like screwed essentially? But, yeah. Uh, I haven't been able to tease out the grade restriction. Oh. Okay. Um, oh wow, we've been going for an hour. Yeah, almost. Oh. It's a, my, my batteries last about an hour. This is the, the GoPro battery. It lasts about an hour and 15 minutes. Got it. So uh, if I can use that up and then end the ride right about in timing with that, that'd be sweet. Well, the next pull yeah. is here, so we can cool. We can just pull over. I have three GoPro batteries. Two of them are third-party ones that heat up in the camera and expand. Oh. Oh. And I can't pull them out of the camera, <laughs> which, is, which is what happened last night in the last ride halfway through. The camera died, and I couldn't get it out of the camera. <laughs> Perfect. That's that's what I want from my batteries, you know. Just... <laughs> you don't want spicy pillows, yeah. <laughs> right, so we can't actually see the painted ladies, what? but we are we are here. People just have to believe us. Nice. Is that them? I, I don't know what I'm even looking at. I'm just like, yeah, I think. Oh, okay. sure it's clear yeah, if we I'm were like. I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Stick your head out of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Another rainbow right there. Okay, anyway, yeah, we'll say, let's go ahead and split it here. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time.